Welcome to our Lucas Studio tutorial on using multiple CSV files to create a single Lucas Studio dashboard or report. We will use CSV files in a way that each new file will append the data of existing file. Meaning each CSV file contains incremental information which is appended to the existing CSV files already uploaded. So this is very important and useful in cases where you receive csv files containing partial information for example let's suppose you receive information on daily basis or monthly basis in shape of csv files and you upload that information to your looker studio instead of combining that information first and then uploading a single csv file to your looker studio it is better to upload each csv file to your Looker Studio and that file is automatically combined with the CSV files already available in your Looker Studio which were previously uploaded by you. So let's create a blank report in our Looker Studio and as soon as the report is created we are asked to add data to this report. So since we are going to use CSV files let's look for CSV connector and we have a csv connector from google so let's click on this and now we can click on the upload button to upload files to this data set we actually don't have a data set right now but as soon as we will upload the first file a data set will automatically be created and that is why the uh, uploading the first file is the most important step because the data set will be created using the name of the first file so it will be the same name you use for your first file therefore when we will upload the first file we will change its name to what we want to create a name for our data set so let's call it ewsn because that is the name we want to choose for our data set so this is our january 2025 sales data so let's upload this file to our looker studio and as you can see our data set name is the same as our first file and interestingly we can now delete this file without affecting our data set and we can re-upload it using the existing name So this is our January file and now it has a different name. Now we can use the add button to add this data set to our Looker Studio report. And once this data set is added to this report, any file uploaded to this data set will be appended to the existing data automatically. However, you have to be careful that the uh, columns and the structure of the CSV files should be same. So let's click on the add button and now we have this data set inside our Looker Studio report and we can use this to create our dashboards. So now we have two choices either to create a freedom layout and this is the layout that creates a fixed size report in freedom style that's optimized for desktop and printing or we can create a responsive layout and this layout is created to automatically structure reports with responsive grades that adapt to any screen size so let's create a responsive layout now we can use these tools to add charts and controls in our dashboard so first of all let's add a report title and now we will add some charts and controls to our report so let's add a pie chart to display the region wise sales information so let's click on this pie chart and it will automatically add a pie chart and choose some relevant information so it has already chosen the regions but in the metrics field it has chosen the record count while we want sales so let's add the sales field to the metrics and uh, now we have sales information in our pie chart let's move the legend to the top of the chart 
so we can go to the styles and change the legend position to top or bottom so it looks much better now we can also add borders so we can choose the border color to black and now there are borders in our chart and for our next chart let's add a time series chart and as you can see uh, the sales have been added automatically and dates have been added too so sometimes uh, it is smart enough to uh, add your desired dimensions and your matrix which is a good thing so let's copy this chart and paste it over this chart as paste style only so this will add any styles that we have added to this chart to this chart automatically and this is a very handy feature that is missing from microsoft power bi it saves you a lot of time and effort and you can style you can style your charts in any way you want you can add borders colors and a lot of things and you don't have to do all that to the other charts you can simply copy your style and paste it on the uh, other charts and the style will be applied to them as well so now you can see that we have our january sales data in our uh, looker studio dashboard so let's get back to our data set and let's upload our february data by uploading this csv file and let's wait for the process to finish now you can click on the reconnect button and it will uh, add any new columns and change configuration but keep in mind that will that can break your uh, report so always follow the same structure of your csv files to avoid these kinds of problems so let's click on the reconnect button and as you can see there is no change so let's click on the continue button and click on the done button and now let's click on the refresh data and as you can see now we have february data as well so this is the benefit of using a data set and csv files you don't have to combine january and february data outside the looker studio and then upload that data to your looker studio instead your february data will be included in your january data once you upload that csv file to your looker studio and click on the refresh data button so this is very handy and very efficient way of uploading your data to looker studio and now we can also add our march data in the same way uh, let's click on the add files and select the march file and click on the open button and wait for the process to end and just to show you let's not click on the reconnect button and click on the cancel button let's refresh data and as you can see we have march data as well so we have january to march data in three csv files and those files are combined in our data set and we have dashboard based on those three files we can add some other visuals such as uh, let's add a control called slider and we can use this slider to identify a specific range of sales so our dashboard is now complete let's click on the view button and this is our dashboard so we can use the date range to filter data by dates for example let's see the data of this quarter and since uh, the data only pertains to the first quarter and this is the second quarter there is no information available we can use this year but the data is available for the first quarter only therefore all other months have no data we can always reset filters by refreshing this dashboard uh, we can use the uh, region by sales 
to select the sales of a specific region. And we can use this slider to uh, display a specific range of sales information. So these are the highest sales where the north region is leading and these are the lowest sales and we have the west region and the south region with the lowest sales and we can also use this line chart to select a specific uh, range of dates and the pie chart will reflect that information so these numbers belong to this selected period so this is our today's tutorial where we have used multiple csv files to create a Lucas studio dashboard and we used incremental information so that we don't have to upload our entire data at once instead we can use uh, partial information each time that information is available and we can upload that information which will be included in our data set and to our Lucas studio reports and with this we end our today's video and we'll see you in the next tutorial till then have a nice day